Hello and welcome to this tutorial on TinyDB, an amazing, lightweight and simple Python database written in pure Python, no external dependencies. It's very simple and lightweight. And if you want a database for your personal and small projects, this, then this is a great thing to use. But if you need a database with some advanced features, then maybe you should choose something else, MongoDB, I don't know, MySQL or others. So I'm going to show you how it works and I'm going to use Google Colab for this purpose. Uh, it's empty and directory here, except this default uh, Google thing uh, folder. So the first thing we do is we install um, tinydb, pip install tinydb just like that. And once it's uh, installed, we are going to import two classes from tinydb import two things. One is tinyDB, uppercase T and uppercase DB, and another one is called query with uppercase Q. We are going to use uh, tinyDB to create a database and query to, well, query that is searching inside our database or update and stuff like that. Now that we've in, in imported these, I'm going to create, the first thing I'm going to do is create a database. We don't have it here, so I'm just going to say DB whatever name is equal to uh, tiny db the one that we just imported here and I'm gonna uh, give it a name a file actually I'm gonna create a document or file which is gonna act as our database so I'm just gonna call it db.json I could also use text but I'm gonna use json now once I've run that a refresh you can see this is here so to see the contents of this database, I can simply use in all methods. So db, that is a database we just created here, dot all parentheses, it just gives me the content which is empty for now, there is nothing in it. In order to insert some, um, some records in here, some information in here, I'm going to use just some stuff like that. So db.insert parentheses, and I'm going to use Python dictionary like this, like name Vahid, age 33, name Sarah, age 43, and others. So I'm going to use this insert method to insert data into our database. And I'm going to run this, shift enter, and it's done. Now, how do I know again? what I have inside our database, db.all. I'm going to run this again, and you can see this is the content of my database. Or if I want to um, um, loop through them, that go through them one by one, I can just use a for loop for i or for data or whatever in um, our db. I'm going to print uh, i, and you can see now we have these one by one. So what if I want to look for one person, the information of a person called Vahid? I can, this is reading it, right? So I would say uh, query db, the database that we have, dot search, so I'm gonna use a search method. And here I should use the query that we imported with parentheses. Uh, this is an instance of the query class. And I'm gonna say dot, name is equal to Vahid. So it means search for an instance where name of that person, because remember we have name here, if it was type, it would be type, it was, I don't know, whatever, product, then dot product, equals, so double uh, equal signs, Vahid. And if I run this, I can see it returns that person. And if I had more, person with the name Vahid, it would have returned all of them. I can also use conditionals here. I would say, for example, instead of name, I'm going to say age. Uh, age is greater than, well, not Vahid, but age is greater than, I don't know, 40, for example. And if I return this, you see we have Sarah with age 43 and we have Lily, age 47. Uh, another thing that we can do is to um, update this data. For example, this Sarah, 
I need an H maybe at the end of it. So I want to update this record. So I would just say uh, db.update, obviously. And this, um, first I need to put a field, which I, the correct version, the, for example, Sarah, the corrected ones. So it would be, of course, the name I'm going to uh, correct. So I would say update, let's say name Sarah with an H. Remember, it doesn't have H for now. So it's H. And then here I would say query parentheses dot name is equal to Sarah. So it means go to the, the record where the name of that query, that person is Sarah and change the name key to Sarah with an H. So if I run this, and now let's just uh, run all of them again to see how, what we have. You see now Sarah has an H there. So we just had the creation, we had the update, or, and we had the reading, and now we need the deletion, so to delete that's easy again. So db.remove and then I would say query uh, again parentheses dot uh, name is equal to uh, Vahid. So it means remove that uh, uh, query where the name of that person is Vahid. Now if I run this db.all Vahi does not exist there. But what if I want to um, delete the whole contents of this file database? Very easy, I would say db.truncate method, so, and then it's gone. So if I look for db.all, you can see there's nothing in it left. Okay, these are the most basic of, uh, kind of things you can do with um, with TinyDB and uh, I think that was it. So I hope you liked the video and if you wanna know more, you can just go to my website, pythonology.eu, read the article here. I have more methods maybe, I guess, <laughs> and uh, also this very tiny small project that you can use. I will add the video at the end of this article now. Thank you very much for watching and listening.